Right, guys, now let's see how to work with cos x, right? So, what are the first stage? You know that y should be increased by y plus delta x, a small increment here, delta y, and x should increase to x plus delta x, where delta x is a small increment. Substitute this, guys. I get y plus delta x, uh, y plus delta y is equal to cos of x plus delta x is what I have, right? So what is it, uh, the first thing it says? Keep delta y on one side and put y on the other side. That goes like cos of x plus uh, delta x minus y. That's what we have. Now who is y? y is my question. That is cos x. I can write cos of x plus delta x minus cos of x, right? Is this guy looking like one of the transformation formulas? So we have cos c minus cos d. All right, so that looks like cos of this guy is c and this guy is d, almost the same. So can I use that formula? Yep. So I write uh, delta y is equal to cos of x plus delta x minus cos of x. I'll take this whole thing as d, this guy as uh, c and this guy as d. So what happens here? Minus 2 cos c plus d by 2, right? So that goes like x plus delta x plus x, the whole thing by 2 into I have a sign okay both the signs here all right so that last guy is sine and sine so sine x plus delta x minus x by 2 okay this is what you have all right cool come back to this I have minus 2 sine of I can write this as 2x plus delta x by 2 this guy is sine of I can cancel these guys that looks like delta x by 2 all right yep now, the second stage of the problem is to divide both the sides by delta x, right? So that's my second stage. Now I divide it by delta x, and I can see that this guy, this guy can be made to look like that. But there's something missing here is 2. So I'll, in fact, write delta x here, divide by 2 and multiply with 2. This would not make a difference. And I can cancel these 2's also. So this whole thing looks like that after applying limits. I can simply write that as 1. So let's take it here itself. See what happens. Let me raise this. I can write uh, delta y by delta x and I'm applying the limits as delta limit of delta x tends to 0. Here also limit of delta x tends to 0. I have minus 2. Okay, this minus sign, let it remain here outside. It will remain here, minus sign and that is uh, I have sine of 2x plus delta x by 2 can be as 2x by 2 by so much. 2 limit of delta x tends to 0. And I have the other guy that is sine. Okay, let me erase this. That is sine delta x by 2. And the whole thing divided by delta x by 2. Okay, this guy is basically looking like that formula, right? So what happens here? If I plot the limits, I can see that this guy becomes 0. So what do you get? Minus of sine x into this whole thing is 1. So what happens? That is minus sine x. So I can write d by dx here. This guy becomes d by dx is equal to sine x. Or I can write dy by dx. Rather, who is y? y was my cos x. So d by dx of cos x is equal to minus sine x. That's the formula we need. All right? Very simple.